Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. We got some news about uh, uh, Lithuania and Russia and Kaliningrad. As you probably already know, um, Lithuania decided to uh, be very tough on Russia by uh, abiding uh, by the sanctions imposed by the European Union on Russia. And since uh, Lithuania is part of the European Union, it's a very fair and correct to make sure that each and every um, sanction is uh, followed. So uh, Lithuania, Lithuania decided that um, it will uh, block the transit from uh, Russia to its enclave of Kaliningrad, um, former East Prussia province or town, if you want to use it that way, Kenningsberg, I think it was called. Uh, and um, because there are certain things that are under uh, the EU sanctions that angered obviously uh, the Russians and they said that they will take uh, necessary measures to uh, alleviate this unless in the near future Lithuania, I don't know what near future was, but nevertheless in the near future Lithuania will uh, lift those kind of uh, Sanctions. Now, Lithuania said, well, uh, those are European Union sanctions, so you deal with uh, European Union, we're just uh, followers here. I suspect that Lithuania is very happy to do uh, what uh, it's doing, but nevertheless, once you're in that uh, organization, uh, people from Brussels tells you, tell you what to do and you agreed with the sanctions, so you're part of the situation. Now, I don't know what kind of retaliatory measures Russia could take against Lithuania, because I always say, it's useless to make threats or to say, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, if you can't follow through. I mean, it's just you lose your uh, credibility, and not a credibility, but your um, authority. If you say, I'm going to do this and you don't do it, pff, next time, who's going to believe you? Nobody. Uh, all right, so uh, then the Russians decided to do some um, military uh, training and uh, activities in Kaliningrad using uh, missiles and rockets and all that, and Lithuania pooped its pants a little bit, but uh, then they cried to um, uh, on uh, Brussels' shoulder and Brussels uh, now makes all kinds of issues, all kind of issues, issues of kind of um, uh, statements to Russia saying, hey guys, you should uh, de-escalate, blah, blah, blah. All right, let's see. This article comes from Reuters from uh, Tuesday, June 21st, 2022. And this is the title. Russia tells Lithuania, your citizens will feel the pain over Kaliningrad. Well, this is, uh, this is one, uh, one thing. And the other article that I have here is from Reuters from today as well. EU urges Russia to refrain from escalatory steps over Kaliningrad. All right, let's deal with the first article here. Russia tells Lithuania, your citizens will feel the pain over Kaliningrad. Okay, let's see what these guys are going to do. A top ally of President Vladimir Putin told the 20 on Tuesday, who's the ally, we're going to find out, right? That Moscow will respond to its ban on the transit of goods sanctioned by the EU to Russia's enclave of Kaliningrad in such a way that citizens of the Baltic state would feel the pain. With relations between Moscow and the West at a half-century law over Russia's blah, 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 Lithuania banned the transit of goods sanctions by the European Union across its territory to and from the enclave, citing EU sanctions rules. we we'll just follow rules here. Nikolai Patrushev, you remember the guy? All right, a former KGB spy <laughs> who is now the secretary of Russia's Security Council said Lithuania's hostile actions showed that Russia could not trust the West, which he said had broken written agreements over Kaliningrad. All right, and I'm quoting. Russia will certainly respond to such hostile actions, Patrushev was quoted as saying by state news agency RIA. Probably RIA Novosti. And then I'm quoting again. Appropriate measures are being worked out in an interdepartmental format. They will be taken in the near future, end quote. He was quoted as saying, and then their consequences will have a serious negative impact on the population of Lithuania, end quote. Lithuania, a member of NATO and the European Union, said it was simply applying, uh, simply applying agreed EU sanctions on Russia, and they added, added it was ironic to hear Russia Moscow complaints given its war in Ukraine. 
and says no blockade. It's ironic, and I'm quoting, it's ironic to hear rhetoric about alleged violations of international treaties from a country which has violated possibly every single international treaty. Lithuania Prime Minister Ingrida Simontia told reporters, and I'm quoting, there is no Kaliningrad blockade, she said, Lithuania is implementing EU sanctions. All right, there's no blockade, it's just just implementing sanctions. What do they mean? That means a blockade. <laughs> just, it's not a blockade, we don't call it blockade, it's a sanctions. So under the sanctions, the your goods are blo blocked from uh, transiting, but it's not a blockade, it's just a sanctions. You have to understand the meaning, you're not listening. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And uh, all right, Kaliningrad, for Kaliningrad, formerly the port of Königsberg, uh, capital of East Prussia, was captured by Nazi Germany, by the, uh, from Nazi Germany by the Red Army in 1945, and given to Soviet Union after World War II, it is sandwiched between NATO members, Poland and Lithuania. After Putin ordered the invasion of Ukraine, the United States and its allies imposed, okay, this is the damage control. So this is damage control where they, um, uh, where they let you know uh, what the truth is, you know. So it says here that Russia's foreign ministry summoned the EU's ambassador to Moscow, uh, Markus Ederer, to formally complain, and I'm quoting, we demanded the immediate restoration of normal Kaliningrad transit, otherwise retaliatory measures will follow, uh, end quote. Erdogan urged Russia to refrain from escalatory step steps and rhetoric over the situation an EU spokesperson, oh, person, man or female or an identifying person, said, and they says, he conveyed our position on Russia's aggression against Ukraine and explained that Lithuania is implementing EU sanctions and uh, so just uh, implementing EU sanctions and is doing what's supposed to do, I'm guessing. <laughs> All right, now let's go to the other article and see if they have anything else like uh, EU urges Russia to refrain from escalatory steps over Kaliningrad. I think it was covered in the other one, but nevertheless, yeah, refrain. You you told Moscow to refrain from escalatory steps and rhetoric over Moscow calls anti-Russian blah 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 on goods train uh, transiting between Kaliningrad and the rest of Russia, and you and then he conveyed our position, blah blah blah. Now the thing is this: this is what it is. So it's not a blockade, but how is it? And if it's not a blockade, don't block my goods from crossing your country, right? That is a blockade. Then you say, well, we, it's because you, uh, you know, you invaded that country, we uh, place sanctions on you. Okay, so let's see if this follows a uh, 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 certain logic. Uh, I have a scuffle in the neighborhood with, uh, with a neighbor and I, uh, you know, we get in a fight or I go and, uh, uh, you know, retaliate because I have certain reasons and I go, um, well, you did this to me, I'm going to go and do this to you. So we have a fight with the neighbor and then another neighbor decides to uh, impose sanctions on me that has nothing to do with me or that neighbor. We're the same. That neighbor is not his friend and that neighbor is not his partner, is not relative, nothing like that. Imposes sanctions on me without being part of the quarrel. So what, who, who escalated first? Me and the neighbor? That's between me and the neighbor. All right, the neighbor, let's say, insulted me or my, the neighbor beat my child and I'm going now and beat his butt. And now you impose sanctions on me. And then I say, hey, what are you doing? I say, it's just, just sanctions. It's just sa sanctions because you're beating the neighbor. Yeah, but the neighbor insulted me, beat my kid. I'm not supposed to do that? Uh, obviously not. So you see, European Union, they, they uh, justify their sanctions because Russia and Ukraine had some problems. Uh, they didn't impose any sanctions on Ukraine when Ukraine were killing, was killing uh, uh, Russians in the East uh, Ukraine, weren't they? They didn't impose any sanctions when Russia, uh, Russian language was banned, right? They didn't impose any sanctions on Ukraine when some uh, forces within country with the help of outside uh, special services overthrew a legitimate democratically elected government in Ukraine in 2014. So you see, there's so many things the European Union did not decide to sanction the neighbor. Only when I go and punch the neighbor now, because I had enough with his things, then you impose sanctions on me. And I say, what are you doing? Why, are you, why do you get involved? Because you punched the neighbor. But you, did you see the other thing? What? I don't see what? Huh? What? 
<laughs> That's how it works. And now these guys are hiding like, oh, we did, we had to impose sanctions on you. Why? I, for instance, Russia doesn't think is doing is in the wrong here. That's the thing. Russia doesn't think it's in the wrong. Ukraine doesn't think it's in the wrong. But the arbiter say, oh, I'm picking uh, you. As I said, you didn't intervene from 2014 to 2022. And now you intervene. You were waiting for this. Waiting for this. So anyway, thank you very much for being with me again today. I don't know what's going to happen with Lithuania, but uh, 2.5 million people population, half of the city. I don't know. I don't think anything. Uh, uh, actually, I don't know. I, I, I was about to say that Russia would not use uh, force to do anything, but it could uh, it it could go all the way, and then everybody's going to be paralyzed. What are they going to do? They're going to go all the way for Lithuania? I don't think so. So Lithuania is asking for something, and it probably is going to get it. But these are just you know little little dogs you know barking all the time and try to bite the passing bear. Why? Because that's the other guy over there who, you know. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, do for the truth, and be just.